Good morning, welcome to FMR and welcome to week 12 of training, episode number 13 of the Lakeman 100 training series. Now I'm recording this the day before the Lakeman 100. Training is done, taper is done. So uh, all we need to do today is talk about my final week of big mileage. The week was divided up into 40 kilometers of running on the treadmill on Zwift and 120 kilometers outdoors. And we started with an absolutely beautiful day on Monday. I went up to Winchester and met with my mate Dan from the Cyman Dan channel and the Runman Dan channel. And we went for 37 kilometers along the South Downs from Winchester all the way to Queen Elizabeth Country Park and uh, that was absolutely beautiful. Obviously, again, keeping it low heart rate, nice and easy and relaxed, but we had to in that hot weather. But that wasn't Monday done. We had 10K in the evening on the treadmill doing the Zwift community run. That's almost 50K by Monday night. I don't know if you can see it, but just over there is the famous Aintree race course in Liverpool. Um, and the bit that we're at is known as the Canal Turn. Tuesday was over and done with really quickly. In the morning at 6.30, I got up and did 10K on the seafront. And then at 11.35, I was on the treadmill for my Film My Run 500 uh, climbing session on Zwift. And that made around 14 kilometers for Tuesday. So we're up to 64, 65 kilometers now. Wednesday was another fairly big mileage day. So I went out with my friends, Matt and Haley in the morning and we did about 28, 29 kilometers over the South Downs on the hills. And then in the evening, I was doing an interval session on Zwift. So that was a relatively hard effort, but it was very hot. So I didn't do it quite as hard as perhaps I could have done or should have done. Bear in mind, we are now at the end of 12 weeks of training where the last six weeks we've been ramping it up. So I've done 100K for a few weeks, then 110, 20, 130, 140, 150, and this week 160. So I am pretty tired now. My legs are feeling it. I just want to sleep all the time. So this week, to be perfectly honest, hard efforts and high heart rate was hard to come by. And to be honest, things didn't get much easier on Thursday. I did three sessions on Thursday, starting in the morning with 10K and I did 5K intervals. So I did 1K hard, 1K easy, 1K hard, 1K easy. Um, Again, it wasn't an all out effort because I'm so tired, uh, but I count that as one of my hard efforts for the week. Then we did the Film My Run 500 at 11.35, which is 4.2K. And then I did 11K in the evening on the treadmill. And that was doing the Bag That Badge series on Zwift. So there really hadn't been any let up in the week at all. I'd been doing a session in the evening and then getting up again early in the morning and doing another session. But when you're doing 100 miles in a week, you haven't really got much choice. However, by Friday, things were starting to get a bit easier. We did 10 miles on the seafront, on the beach, filming episode 12 of the Lakeland 100 training series. And then, believe it or not, I had a day off on Saturday. After my 10 miler on Friday, we drove all the way down to Cornwall, where I was uh, live streaming the Roseland August weekend races uh, run by Mud Crew down there. So I was busy working all day Saturday. There's no way I could have fitted a run in on Saturday, even if I'd wanted to. By now, I was up to 140 kilometers. Now, the uh, eagle-eyed amongst you will know that uh, I've been up in it by 10K per week. And that would take me to 160k this week. But 160k is not 100 miles. 
let's do 100 miles. So Sunday when we got home, nice and flat along the seafront, 21 kilometers to finish off my 100 mile training week. The last one, the last run, the last week of training, taper time for two weeks. So we've done 80K last week and then around 30 or 40K this week, including today's run. And we're ready for the Lakeland 100 tomorrow. So I guess it's time for a little bit of analysis of how the 12 weeks of training has gone. What's gone well? What's gone badly? What could I do better next time? What have I learned from this block of training? So I think the first thing I have to admit to myself about this block of training is, regardless of the fact that we are training for a 100 mile run, I don't think I've done enough hard efforts. I don't think I've got my heart rate high enough for long enough each week. It's just too easy to wimp out when you look at those hard sessions. You know, you've only got to do one or two of them a week and make them hard, make yourself work. But you know, it's so hard to get it done. But I think going into Berlin, definitely going to put in some more hard speed sessions and fewer miles overall in the next few weeks. One thing I can say definitely has gone well though has been the mileage. I think partly filming this training series has made me feel accountable to you guys to put the work in. Very rarely have I done a series, a block of training where uh, I have consistently kept up the mileage and increased the mileage. I've done it before, but perhaps not as consistently as I have done in this training block. So we did those six weeks of 100K, then every week after that, we've added a little bit more. So I really feel like I've put the miles in this time. Elevation gain has been pretty good. We've done at least a thousand meters a week with the uh, Film My Run 500 climbs twice a week. But then we've also done plenty of elevation outside, sometimes getting up to 3000 meters of elevation gain each week. So I think we've pretty much covered elevation. We've done good work climbing. Calf muscles and quadriceps are in good shape for tomorrow's Lakeland 100. A couple of other negatives, which I think if I was coaching somebody, I would insist that they try and get right. Uh, would be diet and strength training. So I, I don't do really any cross training or any core strength training. And I know I should and I'm lazy and I feel bad for it. My worry is, and, and this is a genuine concern, is that I, I rarely get injured. Why start doing something that could potentially cause me injury? Um, I know, I know strength training should, will make my core stronger and therefore less likely to get injured. But I feel like if it's not broken, I'm not going to fix it. And that gives me a good excuse to be lazy and not do core strength work. And again, diet is always a problem. Um, I, I just can't resist sometimes, you know, having that sneaky cookie or having a bit too much full fat milk. I guess like many of us, I don't eat enough vegetables, I don't eat enough fruit, and I really should. And I would, I would urge you and advise you to, to not follow my example in that regard. It's always a challenge to try and eat better. It's always a challenge to try and be more disciplined about your diet. And it's definitely one thing I need to improve on. And let's finish on a small positive. Sleep, really, really important to help your muscles and your body recover and grow stronger. And I sleep pretty well. My wife would probably argue that I don't, but I, my body is happy with six to seven hours of sleep a night. And I have regularly been getting six to seven hours of sleep a night, sometimes more. And I have felt refreshed in the morning. I don't know if any of you have got a watch which gives you a body battery but it shows you on your watch how much your body has recharged itself during the night. 
and my body charges itself pretty well. I recover quite well. And uh, that's one thing about the mileage that's been really good is that I've felt that although I'm tired, I am still able to go out there and do the miles because I'm not overly fatigued. I'm not so tired that I can't get up and run in the morning and then do another session in the evening. Even though my race is tomorrow, the Lakeland 100 training series is not over yet. Recovery, post-race analysis will follow in episode 14. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, then please just click that link there. That will take you to the playlist for all the other episodes in the Lakeland 100 training series. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.